My professors have told me to make a pedigree to trace the inheritance of traits. Analyzing chromosomes, it is something you should know using Shrek in the model before you. Well, all right, don't worry, I won't sing anymore. I just had to have a little bit of fun with All Star by Smash Mouth. But now I'll take you through the pedigree that I've made about the Shrek cinematic universe. Now you may be thinking, eye color is not simple Mendelia. Shrek takes place in the kingdom of far, far away, not Earth. So we can assume that over there, one trait controls eye color. All right, so now we can go into actually looking at the pedigree itself. So in generation one, as you can see here, we have Shrek's father and Shrek's mother who remain unnamed through the series, and then Fiona's parents, which are King Harold and Queen Lillian. Then as we move down to generation two, it makes it pretty easy for us because Shrek and Fiona are both only children. And then as we move into generation three, you'll notice that Shrek and Fiona had three children and they were all fraternal triplets as designated by these two bars right here, and they had two sons, Fergus and Farkle, and one daughter named Felicia. Now we're going to talk about the phenotype that we're actually looking for. So the individuals who are shaded in yellow, as seen with Queen Lillian, Fiona, and Felicia, are the ones that carry that trait, which is going to be blue eyes, and everyone who's not shaded is going to have brown eyes. The first mode of inheritance that I examined was whether or not this pedigree indicated an X-link dominant mode of inheritance. As you can see in the picture, I found that this pedigree was consistent with an X-link dominant mode of inheritance. Next we'll be discussing whether or not this pedigree is indicative of an X-link recessive mode of inheritance. I'm only focusing on the genotypes of individuals 1-3 and 1-4 because they are incompatible with the actualized phenotype of individual 2-2. Two, two. Because of this, this pedigree is not consistent with an X-link recessive mode of inheritance. Next we're going to discuss whether or not this pedigree is consistent with the autosomal dominant mode of inheritance. I found that this pedigree is consistent with the autosomal dominant mode of inheritance. Next I examined this pedigree and found that it was consistent with being an autosomal recessive mode of inheritance. Next I examined whether this mode of inheritance could be Y-linked but found that it could not because everyone who had the trait had two X chromosomes and no Y chromosomes. Here I've just condensed all of the findings onto one slide. In conclusion, we found that pedigrees are a great way to examine modes of inheritance and they're affected by many different things. For this video, we've also assumed that eye color is only controlled by one trait. And in the words of the great philosopher Shrek himself, get out of my swamp.